Close the door, Coco. Did you hear me? Close the door. Girl, what is wrong with you? Give me this bag. Okay, so are you gonna stay standing there all day? Coco! Coco! Wait, are you serious? Are you okay? Can you hear me? Come on, baby, let me put you on the couch. Come on, mommy. <gasps> oh my goodness, baby, your hands are turning blue! I need you to try and talk to me. Your, your body is going through some kind of reaction and I think you may be frozen. Can you hear me? Coco! Here you go, everything's gonna be okay. I'm about to call the telly nurse now. Okay, baby, hold on. Thank you for calling telehealth services. How can I help you? Hi, hi. my daughter's name is Constance Streety and I think she's frozen. Uh, excuse me, ma'am, is this some type of joke? No, ma'am, this is not a joke. I mean, is she alive? Yes, she's still alive. She literally just walked through the door with me from the grocery store and got Stuck. Ma'am, how long is she gonna stay like this? Because she's not comfortable and she looks crazy. I need you to get some blankets and put them on her so we can get her warm. Okay, all right, Coco, it's okay, it's okay. I put blankets on her. Oh my goodness, her hands have gotten even more blue. I need help! Stay calm, are you listening to me? Yes, ma'am, I'm listening. Just go on ahead and wiggle her nose. You said wiggle her nose. Um, oh, okay, come here, Coco. After you finish doing that, I need you to clap three times for me. Uh, clap three times? What? Okay. Once that's complete, I need you to start singing Kumbaya. I need you to really get into it. I need you to feel it. I need you to Kumbaya, my lord. I need you to get into it, okay? S what? Sing Kumbaya? Uh, okay. Um, kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya, kumbaya, my lord, kumbaya. Okay, ma'am, are you sure you're a nurse? Because this sounds absolutely ridiculous. Ma'am, I'm doing everything you told me to do, but she's still over here looking halfway crazy and like an oversized popsicle. Coco, Coco, are you in there? Are you coming back? Ma'am, I think she's coming back. Okay, come on back, babe. Wait, no. Coco! Wait, no, Coco, what's happening? Ma'am, she's getting worse. No. What should I do? Smack her? No, I hear what you're saying. It just doesn't make sense. I am not smacking my child. I can't do it. Oh my gosh, she's turning colors. No, no, mama, no, mama. What is wrong with you? Why would you slap me? I didn't. Coco, what are you talking about? You must have been having a bad dream. So... Oh, really? It felt so real. Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. He's a boy, I know. He's the one I dream of. Ooh. <laughs> Takes me to the stars. Oh, no, those are the woods. Hey, Coco, how do I look? Whoa, whoa, where do you think you're going? Well, it's Valentine's Day, silly. I'm going out to celebrate love. Dress like that? Yes, I mean, I thought it was nice. Wait, hold up a minute. I'm the mother, not you. Questioning me like I'm one of her little friends. Well, I'm just concerned because it's dangerous out there. Well, why aren't you concerned every other day when I go outside? Oh, that's actually a good question. Well, I'm gonna start, but... Do you think that you could spare a little time and make a Valentine's Day card with me? Um, you know what? I actually can. I have a very special person I want to write a card for. Oh, Mom, well, you don't have to. <laughs> oh, no, baby, it's not for you. Oh, is that right? Mm-hmm. This is for my special somebody. <laughs> Oh, well, that's interesting. Well, maybe you should just make circles instead of hearts because hearts are for love. And that's exactly why I'm gonna use hearts. Oh. You're all in my business. Who are you making a card for? Uh, 
my shelf because I am my own Valentine. Good answer. <laughs> uh, you sure are putting a lot of work into that card. I only wrote a little heart and happy. Mm. Girl. Well, anything else is too much. Mm, I don't think so. I think it needs some dazzle. I only have this much and I don't think it's enough for both of us. Oh. Give me that. Silly. You should probably throw that away. What? Girl, if this was a competition, I'd be in first place. I'm sure he's gonna love it. Oh, oh I sure hope he doesn't. Pass me a pencil. Well, I'm all done. <laughs> oh, mama. That doesn't look too good. You should probably throw that away. What? Girl, if this was a competition, I'd be in first place. I'm sure he's gonna love it. Oh, Oh, I sure hope he doesn't. Pass me a pencil. Thank you. Do you think I should write love Ava or with love from Ava? No signature is always best. <laughs> love Ava it is. All right, let me hurry up and finish getting ready. She could not be serious. Should I tell my daddy? I mean, I have the right to, right? The nerve of her. He's out trying to protect this country and this is the respect that he gets. Hello, have you seen my earrings? No. What about my necklace? Uh, no. Where's my other? I haven't seen anything! No, I didn't just hear what I said. I heard you. She is not talking to me. Excuse me, who was that? I'm sorry, I guess I was trying to yawn and talk at the same time and it just came out a little heavy. Oh, okay. Fix it. I guess the first thing I can do is accidentally on popish mess up mother's picture. Because I just accidentally was using tape. And, oh, oh, what happened? Oh, no, Mama's picture. Oh, oh, man. Oh, I'm going to put it back together for her. Yeah. Okay, forget it. I'll just release. What happened to my picture? Uh, my apologies. I was trying to use the tape, and when I put it on, I actually got it on yours instead of mine, and it ripped. Um, but I tried to put it back together for you. I'm sure he'll understand. Yeah, sure. I guess he didn't know about the picture anyways. I'm just happy I found these other earrings, and I'll just have to go without the necklace. Oh, well, your neck looks bare, so you should probably go look for it. This is where I left my jewelry? You didn't see it when I asked? Oh, well, uh, I guess I didn't turn my neck that way. Pass me the necklace, Coco. This is absolutely... Give me this. Hello, darling. Oh, you look so handsome. I cannot wait to see you. <laughs> <laughs> don't say a word because you know we don't want to ruin the big surprise. Oh, and you know, I'm just about ready to. No, she's not. You better leave my mama alone, sir. Coco! My daddy doesn't play about us, and I don't play about my daddy. Get off my mama's phone, sir. First of all, lower your tone and calm down now. Uh, sorry, mama, but I'm going to need your phone. Sir, I... Daddy? <laughs> hey, my Coco Puff. Daddy, it's you. Oh, my goodness. I thought Mama was about to go on a date with somebody else. She was getting her makeup all cute, writing love letters. No, 
Don't you worry, though, Daddy. I made sure to accidentally on purpose mess it up. Oh, but now I kind of feel bad because I guess it was for you. <laughs> well, I'm glad to know you have my back, Coco. That's why I got a special Valentine's Day gift for you. You do? Yep, me. I'm on my way home right now. I'll see you shortly. <laughs> Yay! Okay, Daddy, I can't wait! So you did this again and thought... I mean, how was I supposed to know? Ask questions? Oh, well, you think that maybe you and Daddy cannot go out so we can all just stay here together and then we could possibly remake your letter? Now, now, Coco, you know that's a no-no. What's up, Smiley? Oh, nothing much. Well, why are you looking at me like that? Uh, Mama, can I please go stay over Auntie Verlene's house? I really, really miss her. Oh, do you? Yes, uh, I haven't seen her forever. I mean, if she says yes, you definitely can. You just need to stay out of trouble because I don't want anyone calling me saying that you were out there. Yay! Okay, okay, I'm gonna call her, I'm gonna call her. Uh, hi, TT, it's your favorite. How are you? I'm good. I remember a while ago that you said that I can come spend the night and that we would do fun stuff. Oh, I did? Yep, I remember it like it was yesterday. One day, Coco, you gonna come over and we gonna have a lot of fun. Uh, uh, and spend the night? Uh-huh, yeah, 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 for sure. For sure. Okay. <laughs> oh, 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 I guess I, I guess I did say that, huh? Mm-hmm. And guess what? Mama says that I can come over tonight. Oh. oh okay, well, I guess that I guess that works then. Mama, TT Verlene says that I can go spend the night and I can come tonight. Are you sure? Let me talk to her. Hey, Verlene, did you say that? Well, according to Coco, I said it a while ago, so I guess yes. Oh, you don't have to. Oh, no, no, no. It's fine. I'm sure it'll be an interesting night. Okay, well, thank you. I appreciate it. You know, she really hasn't spent the night at anyone's house before, but she's comfortable with you, so I'm sure she'll be fine. Yeah, yeah, she, she'll be fine. Don't worry. Okay, sounds like a plan. Okay. Well, it looks like you're going to your aunt's house after all. <laughs> I'm going to T.T.'s house. I'm going to T.T.'s house. Mm, mm. Coco, I need you to be on your best behavior. If I hear anything about how you weren't, we're gonna have a problem. Do you understand me? Yes. Good. Now go pack and don't forget your toothbrush. Uh, can, can I bring Mr. Bill too? Absolutely. I actually think that's a great idea. <laughs> Let me see what you have. Here you go. Mr. Teddy Bear, toothbrush, and socks? Yep. <laughs> well, what about your clothes, hairbrush, underwear, maybe pajamas? Uh, oh, I guess those would be smart to have. Yes, I guess so. I'll go get you some. We have a couple more hours. Oh, jeez. It feels like it's been forever. Hey, ma'am, it's time. Yay, finally. Hi, TT. I've arrived. I see. <laughs> Come on in and get settled. Oh, 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 TT, oh, it is so nice in here. Oh my goodness, I am so happy that you don't live on that farm anymore. No offense or anything, but it used to stink because it smelled like those pigs. Oh. Oh. Well, I sure do miss them. This is an adjustment. <laughs> so, so what are we going to do for us? Oh, it's pretty late now, so we're going to be doing mostly everything tomorrow. Oh, but you know what? For now, we could just watch a movie till we fall asleep. I'm ready to 
to go home now. Mm -mm. Go go to sleep, Coco. Go to sleep. You, you gonna see your mom. But but I'm ready to go home now. Hello. Ho hello. H hey, Mama. What you doing? Um, sleep. What time is it? Uh, it's five forty-five. A.M. Yes, but I I'm ready to go back home now. <laughs> Please go back to sleep. But but I can't. I'm ready to go home now. T.T. keeps snoring. This baby won't stop crying. And even though she doesn't have the pigs anymore, Mama, it still smells like it. Girl, it is too early for this. P Pouise? Good night, Coco. I'll see you later. Big wheels keep on burning. And why? Baby, she rolling. Now rolling. Yeah. Uh, oh, nothing. Just testing out my vocal cords. Coco, you done woke the baby up. Look, now you crying. Why don't you sleep? It's time for me to go home. I miss my mama. Child, you will see her soon. We ain't even doing no activities yet. Well, I want to do that with mama. And I'm sorry, Auntie Verlene, but it smells like pigs in here. I need to clean up. You know what? It is time for you to go. Because I need to get my sleep. And I'm not about to sit here while you talk about my house. You do Get your stuff. Okay. Ooh, I can't believe you made me get up out of my bed to come here. Hi, Mama. See you, TT. Now, now, Coco. You know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always in I do not understand why it is so hard for you to be quiet during your Zoom calls. School is important and you need to focus. I don't try to talk, Mama. It, it, it just happens. It just happens? Yes. I'm just sitting there quiet and then all of a sudden a word comes from the back of my throat and out my mouth. I didn't even ask for it to come out. Coco, I am serious. If I get another call about your behavior on Zoom, you're going to stay with your auntie for a little bit. Okay, well, who? Auntie Lana? No, Auntie Verlaine. Out in the country working on her farm. No! Not with Auntie Verlaine? With the pigs running through the kitchen? Oh. Yep, and you'll be getting right off Zoom after school and straight to milking the cows. Oh. Wow. You'll do that to your favorite child? You're all my favorite, Coco. And I just want the best for you. Look, you are super smart, but being smart and disobedient is not okay. Okay, mama. I'm sorry. Yeah, that's not gonna work this time. You know, matter of fact, let me call Verlaine. <laughs> you really don't have to. Oh, but I am. this quick so Coco has been having some trouble in class she's being disruptive and making jokes her grades are good but her behavior has been a problem oh word well send her down here with me you know I need some help milking all them cows mm -hmm. well I told her if she didn't get it together she'll be down there with you child let me talk to her okay here she goes Hey, Coco, baby. Now, now, what's happening at school? TT, they just don't understand me. Well, I need you to get it together, baby. Look, trust me. If anyone understands you, it's me. I am so 
so sorry. She, she didn't mean that. <laughs> Girl, my house doesn't stink. That's just called good meat. <laughs> you're right. You're right. She didn't mean it. I'm going to go have a talk with her right now. Y yeah, okay. You, you you better get on the order. Get, get on order. Yes, I will. Um, I'll talk to you soon, sis. Okay, bye. <laughs> yeah, okay, bye. Yeah, get it together. Okay, okay. Bye. Really, Coco? It's not what you say. It's how you say it. Okay, I'm sorry. Call her back so I can tell her that her house smells like trash on a good day. Now, now, Coco. You know that's a no-no. Every time we turn our heads, you're always into trouble. With pretty pigtails and a smile that makes us giggle.